Hi, students. This is a reading lesson to go along with week seven of our distance English practice. This reading is for the afternoon homework packet. If you are not a student in my English class, no problem. You can follow along with me while I am reading. Make sure to write down any new vocabulary into your notebook. Post any questions or comments under the video, including putting some of the new vocabulary for you into a sentence to look for some feedback from me. Remember that a great way to practice pronunciation is to record yourself reading a paragraph from the same story, compare your pronunciation to my pronunciation, make an analysis, which words did you have difficulty pronouncing, focusing on the shape of your lips, practice those difficult words again and again. This article is called Facebook Could Be in Big Trouble for Some of Its Housing Ads. This is an article from The Guardian newspaper out of England, and this was written on April 5th, 2019, so it's about a year old. The U.S. government says Facebook broke the law. The particular law is called the Fair Housing Act. This law is meant to protect citizens. It fights discrimination when buying or renting a home. HUD, H-U-D, stands for the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. It is part of the government. Its job is to make sure everyone has a fair place to live. Ads make the company a lot of money. Facebook uses what is called targeted advertising. Companies pay to show ads on its site. Facebook lets companies choose who sees the ads. This allowed companies to discriminate against certain people. HUD said Facebook blocked who could see housing ads. These ads could be showing homes to buy or rent. Facebook gathers information about its users. HUD says Facebook then uses this information. They decide which users see housing ads. The company makes most of its money from selling ads. Facebook earns more than $50 billion a year. Technology is not always used for good. The ad technology can be very useful. Companies and groups can decide on a message for an ad. They can show it to the exact group they want. Facebook said it was surprised by the ads. It said it had been working with HUD. The company wants to address the concerns. Last month, Facebook said it would make changes. It hopes to stop discrimination in housing ads. Other kinds of ads can have this problem. They include job listings. HUD said Facebook lets advertisers exclude people in other ways. One is based on where people live. Some ads can only be seen by men or only by women. Additionally, HUD says that Facebook allowed advertisers to exclude parents. Anyone born in another country could be blocked. Non-Christians could be blocked too. Those interested in Hispanic culture could also be left out. These were just a few examples. Keeping a watchful eye. Ben Carson leads HUD. He said Facebook's actions limit people's housing choices. It is like slamming a door in someone's face, Carson said. Facebook might have to pay fines. It could cost them millions of dollars. The website is being watched more closely. Some people see this government decision as proof that unfair things were done. Lawmakers are making sure the company follows the rules. Activist groups are also making sure Facebook follows the rules. The United States and Europe are already looking more closely at the company. They are examining how it uses its data. How was this story for you? What new vocabulary did you find in this reading? Make sure to put that vocabulary into a sentence to practice, practice, 
practice because the repetition of the vocabulary is how it becomes a permanent piece in your mind. Until next time, students. Bye.